They're accused of taking a page from Bernie Madoff's playbook, bilking nearly 50 victims of more than $12 million. Now, as two Long Island financial advisors head to prison, the victims in the Ponzi scheme are getting some payback. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is in Mineola. He duped me and he scammed me. Retiree Laura Albergo of Plainview was swindled by her financial advisor. He used to come to my house. <laughs> I mean, you know, and I trusted him. I've met his kids. I met his wife. Albergo among 48 victims as NASA's DA of a massive Long Island Ponzi scheme masterminded by Matthew Eckstein of Syosset and Kevin Brody, formerly of Dix Hills. The Ponzi scheme builds with as many people as you can suck into it. Uh, at some point, though, it all comes crumbling down because you don't have any more money to distribute. I feel very hurt. feel very betrayed. Linda Saladay of Seaford says she and her husband can't sleep at night. All of these people, not just myself. 50 victims. My sons are going, you know, going to college. I, you know, it's, it's, you know, now we have to take loans out. Looking back, says Donald Carlson of Farmingdale, the scheme was built on trust, unaware the duo kept the money for themselves. Eckstein's fancy home and cars, swimming pool and tennis court. My wish for him is that he spends as much time in jail as he did living the high life on our money. But in a rare twist, unlike the Bernie Madoff case, prosecutors were tipped by an elderly victim to the ruse, immediately froze bank accounts and real estate of the suspects, eventually recovering five of the $12 million stolen from victims who were just presented with some restitution checks. We're gratified that we're able to give back some of the money. It's not the huge amount that was inve invested, but it's, an, it's a nice portion of it. I am grateful today. I have mixed emotions, you know, it's bittersweet. As the scammers head to prison, the DA says her office will continue working to recover additional restitution funds for the victims. From Mineola, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Prosecutors say investors did not catch on to the scheme for years because victims received bogus bank statements showing their money was actually growing.